Do you know your summation results? Let's find out. We are going to use our standard summation <laughs> results to show this result. The sum of 3r squared plus r minus 1 is n squared n plus 2. Nice and simple. What do we do? We're going to split this up. That becomes 3 times the sum of r squared plus the sum of r minus, I mean, the sum of 1. So what does that give me? Well, the sum of r squared, we of course know, don't we? No formula books for us, is equal to this. The sum of r from 1 to n is 1 half n n plus 1, and the sum of 1 from 1 to n, well, if you go 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times, you just get n. Now, a few things to note here. Let's make our lives nice and easy. That is 1 half. Now, there's a lot going on for these two, and then there's just this little chap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on these two first. So they've both got a half, an n, and an n plus 1. So what I want to do is I will factorize that out. And what do I have left? I have 2n plus 1, and then I have plus 1 from that term. Don't forget our cheeky little minus n knocking about. Now, this here, that is 2n plus 2. Right, 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 right. So this is 1 half n, n plus 1 times 2 times n plus 1, which does, oh, minus n, which does simplify to give me n, n plus squared minus n. And now, there's not, a, I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? So let's take out the n, and then multiply this out, obviously. n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus 1. So this will give us n times n squared plus 2n. Back tries out the n, n squared, n plus 2. Boosh! Nice and straightforward. Simple techniques. Keep track of our algebra. Boom! We've got more of this coming up for you every single day. So make sure you are following the channel, you are liking the video, so that you get more of this for your further math viewing as you go through. From here at Nick Does Maths, I'll see you next time.